Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's going to be all day. I dropped the product. So, I have no idea where I got this knife, how I got this knife, when I got this knife, to from whom I got this knife. I have zero clues. But what I have been doing is looking it up on the internet, and I can't find another one to match it. I found the brand. It says the 96 Bay. And I found a stiletto, but I found plain ones. I, for some reason, I can't find this one to give a whole lot of information on it. But it does say stuff on the blade. But it's got these 3D skulls on it. But that's not what makes it interesting. Um, right here, it's got some uh, what, 440 steel. I can't... Uh, is that what it said there? Yeah, 440 steel, la, 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 la. Um, handmade in China um, but it's got the um, the 3d like these are cut in actually um, skulls going down the uh, the spine they run into the flippers right there you'll see the bolsters are are plain and uh, kind of fluted um, but it's just a cheap knife but then right here it has a date and a name Charles Manson, 1934, 2017. So you'll notice the Charles Manson looks a little bit different than the rest of the blade as far as color and the and the way it's the way it's in there. This is printed on, not cut in. So although this is too, this is printed on. So or it's burned on. Um, so I'm assuming someone had that done before it got to me, and I have no idea who, where, or why. Now, as far as the knife itself, it opens, it's stilettos, it does its job, is it sharp? Um, this has been in my um, test knives bin for a couple years, and I just keep ignoring it and passing it, you know what I mean? But this thing is razor sharp. I'm talking razor, razor sharp. Um, and I didn't know because I, when I when it came in I it came in in this little box and it probably came in with a bunch of other stuff and I just threw it in the in the bin and never even got to it there's I even just pulled this one out too this was in the bin this is a hen and rooster and it's kind of like got this decorative type thing going on with this like I'm assuming faux uh, carbon fiber but you got this thing. I I forgot this was in there. I didn't even know I had this knife in there. Um, so I mean, this is what happens when you when you start going through your stuff. So I found these couple of knives, and I'm gonna have to do a review on that hen and rooster because every hen and rooster I've done has been really good. We'll find out if that is an exception or not. But then there's this thing. So. It's hard to find this, but it's not hard to find this brand. So uh, I'm guessing that there's a ton out there, but I don't know if you're gonna find one with Charles Manson on it, um, because this looks like it was custom done, and I don't know, I, I really can't give you any information. What we can do though is give you some, um, some sizes. So we're looking at a four inch blade, um, about nine and seven eighths uh, open. Um, so you're looking obviously at a four and seven eighths inch grip. It is a liner lock, and it's I mean it's kind of solid. You got nice spring retention right there, right? It sounds like you hear that little click. Right there, there's like a little, but that's just the mechanism working. But once it gets past that little click, it's fine. It snaps right open. So, yeah, it's a cheap knife. It's kind of garbagey looking, but does it work? I don't know. Now, I got to go change because the cat was just rolling around on me, and I'm disgusting. But before I change, let's go outside and cut with this and see if it actually works. Come on. All right, so... I am in no way, shape, or form a knife snob. Um, 
I don't care where it's made. If it works, it works. That's all that matters, right? If the design is good, and I don't mean <laughs> if it's ugly or not, but what I mean is, is the design going to be, you know, workable in the hand? Is it gonna be safe to operate? Um, is it gonna not close on me while I'm using it? And the good thing is when you're using a knife, normally you're going this way. So to have it close on you, you'd have to be doing something crazy right there. I don't know if you can see it, it is an old warplane from World War One, kind of scooting around over my house. You can see the, uh, the Air Force, you know, the star with the, the ribbons going down across the wings. Um, obviously, it's got the Veterans Cemetery right here and it's Memorial Day weekend. So to my fellow vets, love y'all. But uh, yeah, I got that guy just kind of cruising around. I think it's pretty badass, actually. Um, I absolutely love that. So, um, so here's the deal with this knife. If, and I'm not gonna, believe me, I'm not gonna try. If the knife happens to break during testing, I'm not gonna carry it today. But if this knife survives just regular testing, I'm gonna pocket this thing. Yes, I have my $500 pocket knives. You know, my, my favorite stuff coming from uh, ADV Tactical that I have with me a, a lot of the time, um, even most of the time. Yeah, I have all that stuff. I have my own, my own folder and uh, my D-Bad Pocket Warrior, which I carry a lot. But that doesn't mean I'm not willing to carry other things and give other things a try. So this is solid. It's seated right. Doesn't feel so bad in the hand. And the shape is typical classic Italian stiletto. So um, it's, it's not bad looking if you can get past some of the goofy skulls. But let's try a couple of uh, four foot drops. See how the bite is. Oop. Oh, that was actually a really nice bite for a... Oh, I just caught on the edge. All right, I'm gonna do a couple hard downward throws and see if any vibration is gonna knock away this, um, oh, that liner, or see if it's gonna loosen. Oh, you can see it's boing. So, holy crap, that was in there. That, there's the line right there. That got in really far. Um, so, throwing it down hard, the liner didn't escape past the edge of the blade to, to, um, to make it hard to open. Now, this does not sit dead nut. It is not a 50-50 center, um, but it doesn't, uh, it has no effect on the operation. So, let's see, I got all these trees that I've been working on. All my stuff is buried, but uh, let's try and do a push cut. Uh, it's cutting. Uh, okay, so without saw action, I got like three quarters of the way through. Now let's try and give it a little bit more leverage. Ugh. Okay, so one little saw and you can see that ripped straight through. I mean, when you're talking about a budget knife, like a gas station budget knife, that's better than expected, I'd say. All right, so let's see. Ugh. All right, not so bad. Let's try just little twig chops. I gotta hold it steady. All right, nothing loosening. Let's, uh, I gotta find a piece that I can actually, ooh, it's rubber. That's like rubber. Let's uh, come over here, come over here, aha. Aha, I was chopping some stuff. Oh, with something yesterday. And I can't get you guys stable. All right, here we go. It's like my relationships. All right, here we go. There we go. I mean, edge geometry, not too bad, right? If it's doing the job, and think about it, man, you, you're picking up these gas station knives anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks. 10 and 20 bucks, I could, I could put a $500 knife in my pocket and say, oh man, I need to go out there and do some feather sticking so I can make a fire. Where's my $500 knife? And I can use it. Well, I mean, this 
10, 15, 20 dollar knife is feather sticking. So some people kind of they, they watch these knife reviews and they watch knife reviewers and, and they get this idea in their heads that in order to survive, you're gonna need that really expensive, really nice, really badass, made by some reputable maker. It's only USA, it's this, that. And they're gonna say, well, now I need to save up for 10 years just so I can buy one because not everybody has the money. But guess what? You don't always need the money. Sometimes you could just survive. And as far as like, this is not your camp knife. I mean, it's a stiletto. Stilettos have one purpose. Boom, boom, right? It's, it's stab and slash. That's what these are. These are self-defense tools, not self-offense tools. Um, ooh, I had some sap on there. Um, but these are self-defense tools. That's what it is. It's a pull it out of your pocket, open it when you need to, and sur survive the urban jungle, not the uh, jungle jungle. And uh, if, if, you can, <laughs> if you can do that with this, there's nothing else you need to do. Um, let's come over here. Let's come over here. So a gas station knife, as long as it's not dangerous to operate, you're going to get the same use out of it as your regular knife depending what you use your regular knife for. If you're just a regular person, like my man Scabber, Choir Boys, he works with like industrial strength hosing and this and that. So he's constantly like beating up his knives just on general general use. Are you gonna want a gas station knife for that? No. Can it do it? Possibly. Um, is it gonna do it consistently and well and forever? Possibly not. But I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. I mean, if you're out gardening and you have this, this gardening paper, I'll roll it up to make it a little harder. And you're out and you say, okay, well, I need to line the garden. It's still going to do the job. If you need to open up your packages, it's going to do the job. If you need to spread your damn butter, it's going to do the job. And if you're at an ATM and somebody comes at you, it's going to do the job. And that doesn't mean you have to stick it in somebody, but just presenting showing yourself as a hard target which means i am willing to fight back and you might come out of this with as much dents and dings as you plan on me having right people don't want to mess with people that can mess back so just presenting is all you need to do and nobody and nobody out there who's going to come at you at atm is going to stop the process of robbing you if they say oh wait that's only 15 bucks made in china <laughs> that's not gonna hurt nobody nobody is gonna take the time or have the stupidity to do that so you know what i mean it's it's about recognizing that a knife is a knife just straight up a knife is a knife if it works you don't need to spend the money you don't need to spend the money if it works now depending on what you need it to work on at for or with that might be what you what you're spending the money on the design a lot of times has like this design is a fighting design right it's it's a self de self defense design it's not designed for bushcraft it's not designed for skinning can you skin a small animal sure but is it optimal? No, you, you're gonna end up poking through the skin or, or, or the pelt and making holes where you don't want holes. You probably will because it's not designed that way. But if that's not what you're looking for, then it really doesn't matter. If you're looking for something to do that, you get a knife that's designed for it. And when it comes down to, is the knife appropriate or good or bad? That's really all it comes down to is What's it designed to do and can it do what it's designed to do? This one is designed to stab, which it did, slash, which it did, and, and keep, you, keep you alive, um, which it will. So as far as design aspect it's still solid this knife 
is doing everything it's supposed to do for a meager, meager price tag. So you're gonna see a lot of people talk about gas station knives and cheap knives and this knife and that knife. And a lot of those guys are just knife snobs who are, are, are somehow taught to believe that if it's a gas station knife or a cheap knife or a knife made in China, that automatically, no matter what, that makes it an inferior product. But it's only inferior if you use it for something that it's not made to do. If you take a, a, a simple knife and use it for what it's intended to do, think about it, man. You go to a restaurant, you can go to any uh, Wendy's or, or any kind of any kind of fast food place, and let's say you, let's say you go get a McDonald's breakfast, right? They're gonna give you a plastic fork with a plastic knife. Do you know what that plastic knife is for? Spreading butter, cutting pancakes. It's designed to do that, and it can. So, do you need to go to McDonald's and complain to the manager that, that he didn't give you a sharpened Shanzu steak knife to open up your pancakes with? No, because the knife that you have is designed for the task that you have. And this knife is designed to be a protector. Boom, 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 boom. That's what this knife is. Will it do it? 100%. Would I have to worry? Yeah, you can see the dent in my hand. I am pushing. That's not closing. That's not closing. That means if I slash, first of all, it's going this way, so it would be impossible to close. If I slash, it's not. I have nothing to worry about. It's not going to close in my hand. If I stab into something soft, it's going to go straight freaking through. I don't have to worry about it closing or hurting me. And as soon as it starts to go through, I don't have to worry about it closing on me because it's already in something. So if it closes, it's only closing inside of something and making that thing worse, not this thing worse. Um, so can you use a crappy, what the hell is this guy? See, I keep forgetting the name. A, the 96 Bay gas station stiletto as a personal protection or a, as an package opener or as the, the knife that you're going to have to cut your celery and carrots or, or even a steak. Yes. Yes, you can. And if, if people are out there telling you, no, no, you can't because it's made in China, because it's 440 steel, because you could buy it at a gas station, because it costs less than $20. People are gonna tell you because those four factors mean you can't use this knife. It's unusable. I just used it. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna spritz down this blade with some, uh, some whatever the hell it's called that I have, Dawn Power Wash, and it's going to erase all that sap that's on there. But it's gonna be completely clean. I'm gonna put it in my pocket and I'm gonna carry it today. I'm gonna carry it and whatever I have to use a knife for today, no matter what the task, I'm gonna use this knife and it's gonna be a-okay, I promise you. So, can I recommend this knife? No, I'm not gonna say what you need to do is run out and buy a, the 96 Bay knife. I'm not gonna tell you that. What I am gonna tell you though is if you are out and this is what you can afford, you'll be okay. The knife is not bad. It is not bad at all. It's sharp, it's pointy, it works, it's a knife. That's all it needs to be. All right, so that's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Until next knife.